Hi this is Alex from Android Central and today we're taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This is Samsung and Google's new flagship phone. We've got some really interesting hardware and software in here so let's just dive in and take a closer look. Starting on the front we've got a really nice looking 4.65 inch Super AMOLED HD display. Usual buttons along the side, we've got power button on the right and uh, volume rocker on the left. Uh, 5 megapixel camera on the back and if we snap this back area off we can see where the battery lives and we've got the SIM card up there too. Now it's worth mentioning we've got the international GSM version here, the one that just launched in the UK. The Verizon LTE version will be a little bit different when that eventually appears, so you'll have uh, your LTE SIM in the back and obviously it'll be a little bit thicker as well. Anyway, let's power on the phone, take a look at Ice Cream Sandwich. We haven't got uh, face unlock set up, so this is just a standard lock screen. And you can swipe all the way to the left and you've got the camera app launching straight away. Really useful time saver if you want to just take a quick picture of something, but as you'll see here, very slight delay in loading it up. Anyway, here we are at this Ice Cream Sandwich home screen. Uh, as you can see, everything's nice and fast thanks to the hardware acceleration. We've still got the notification drop uh, down at the top. We've got a handy setting shortcut in there too, and uh, so let's dive in there right now and see what exactly we're running. Uh, unsurprisingly, Android 4.0.1, uh, the latest version of Ice Cream Sandwich that's just been shipping out on retail units. So we've just headed back to the home screen using our new virtual buttons, and we're going to take a look in the browser app because we're seeing vastly improved browser performance in Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, so we've already got Android Central loaded. Um, we can see pinch to zoom and scrolling is really nice and quick there. Uh, so we just try loading a page from scratch and we'll see how uh, load speeds are. We're over Wi-Fi, so it should be pretty quick. Um, and there you go, desktop-like experience. Uh, really slick and uh, fast to scroll around. Pinch to zoom, very, very fast. A um, little bit of stuttering there because of all the flash on the page, but that's to be expected. Um, another cool feature in the browser is uh, you've got this menu button at the top and you can select uh, to request the desktop version of any page and that includes Google so we've got the desktop version of Google loaded there. Um, next up we're gonna head into the app drawer and we've got a new Gmail app this time around so this has had a few changes since the gingerbread version. Um, you've got all these menu options down the bottom, obviously the menu button's now gone. It's no longer in Ice Cream Sandwich, you've just got Back, Home and uh, Task Switcher. So next up we've got the brand new Google Plus app. Um, pretty similar to what we've uh, seen before. Obviously things have been rearranged because uh, the new UI setup that has come into place in Ice Cream Sandwich. Besides that, it's pretty much what we're used to with Google Plus. Um, that said, there's a lot more Google Plus integration in ICS and we'll see a little bit of that later on with the new Gallery app. So we've also got the latest version of the new Google Music uh, app on here. Uh, it doesn't have the uh, Google Music store on because this is the international version. I think we'll have to probably wait a little while before we start seeing that kind of thing on international phones. Uh, we've also got the Android Market. This is the latest version. Uh, and just like you would expect on an Android device, you've got uh, all your apps on there the minute you sign to the market, which is really useful. Now what you probably won't notice is any of the trademark lag that you would expect with uh, downloading lots of apps at the same time. Um, and that's really a testament to a lot of the optimization that's been done making ICS a much faster OS through and through. So Nexus phones usually ship with some really nice live wallpaper and the Galaxy Nexus is no exception. Uh, so we're going to load the uh, live wallpaper section now and take a look at a few of them. Um, there's a bit of an unfortunate side effect in some live wallpapers though, which we'll see in a second. Um, most of them work fine, but there are one or two that tend to uh, slow things down a little bit. And it's difficult to see in the video, but there's a noticeable increase in lag in the launcher when uh, some of the more graphically intensive live wallpapers are running in the background. So there's still a little bit of work to be done, I think, in making sure Android runs smoothly with live wallpapers in the background. And it was a little dis disappointing to see this uh, trademark launcher lag on a new phone like the Nexus. Thankfully, it doesn't affect all the live wallpapers on there. As you can see, the one we're going to select now is... Uh, nice and smooth, just like a, a static wallpaper. Uh, so hopefully this can be fixed with software. Uh, it's just a little jarring to see any kind of lag when the rest of the phone is so smooth throughout. Anyway, another new Ice Cream Sandwich app that we're going to explore just briefly is the Movie Maker app. We haven't actually got any video content on here to test it with, but we're going to be sure to give this a proper run through in our review and we'll uh, see just exactly the kind of stuff it can do. Next up, we're going to take a look at something a bit more functional. Um, so we've seen the, the new settings area, and part of that is the new data monitor app. Uh, so we select it from the list up there, and uh, we'll get information on the kind of mobile data we've been using. Uh, obviously, we don't have a chart there because we've just got this phone today. Um, but what you can do is set um, 
hard and soft limits so you've got an absolute limit at the top and a warning level down below and you can adjust these to whatever you like um, so you can just set a limit to cut off data so you don't go over your allowance uh, which could be really useful if you're working to a, a smaller data cap next up we've got the new YouTube app and again this has been redesigned for ICS um, you've got the usual three areas for your own account uh, to browse and uh, featured and stuff so let's just pick a video at random here and we'll see how it happens when it loads and because these buttons are virtual at the bottom uh, what you'll see is when we flip to landscape orientation and go completely full screen the buttons all disappear and you've got the full 720p display to yourself in your video which is fantastic uh, and it's worth mentioning that video content looks absolutely stunning on this display it's really one of the nicest screens i've ever seen on any smartphone and that includes the iphone so we're going to finish off by taking a look at the new gallery app um, and this has been redesigned just a little bit in ice cream sandwich uh, so you've got photo content from the phone and also stuff from google plus in there so uh, here we've got a post i made a few months ago and it's got some photos in it um, and we, what we can do is you can actually edit these right on the phone now so it's got built-in photo editing right in the os um, you can't draw on it like you can on the Galaxy Note, but you can change things like saturation uh, and apply a bunch of different uh, looking filters to it, which is really cool. Um, so really nice to have that kind of option just to maybe crop things out or alter things a little bit on the fly. All really, really useful stuff. Anyway, that's about it for our first look at the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. We'll have a full review written up for you guys soon, so keep watching.